The stage was a one-of-a-kind place on Club Penguin. It wasn't devoted to mini-games or to just pure social experiences. Instead, it was devoted to the arts. Now, the reason that the stage existed on Club Penguin was actually a functional one for the Club Penguin team. Uh, sometimes we, as the creative team of Club Penguin, would have an idea for an event or something that could exist in Club Penguin, but we'd realize that it was a little smaller than something that would be worth taking over the whole island like a party or something like that. Other times, we came up with something that we thought could turn into a big experience or even a permanent experience, but we wanted to test it in front of players first and fine tune things and see what they responded to and what they didn't. And so we created the stage, a single room experience that changed out every month where we could fine tune and try different experiences before they turned into big things, if they would ever turn into big things at all. During the history of the stage, there were over 15 unique plays performed there, and I had the privilege of composing music for at least nine of them. Today, I want to talk about three. The Haunting of the Viking Opera, Norman Swarm's Been Transformed, and Squidzoid vs. Shadow Guy and Gamma Gal. The Haunting of the Viking Opera was this loose combination of the Phantom of the Opera and the old Wagner German operas where everyone wore Viking helmets for some reason. Uh, it's It was not the type of thing that would likely end up in Club Penguin on a full scale, just like Shakespeare, but it seemed like it was pretty easy pickings for a stage play, and so I composed some music for that. The song showed up in other places as well, like The Jungle Adventure Party and Club Penguin Game Day for the Nintendo Wii. Norman Swarm's Been Transformed, I always thought was a fabulous idea for a stage play. Turning all of the penguins into bugs is exactly the kind of thing that the stage was there for. It was quirky, and so my first idea for a song for this play was to make something that was equally quirky, even having a very unusual time signature. The team didn't end up using this song. After hearing the first song, the feedback I got was, could you make something that was just a little bit more normal? 
And it was like, yeah, okay, fine. Uh, so I kept the bugs in the background, but I created this song instead, and this one did get used. Finally, Squidzoid versus Shadow Guy and Gamma Gal. Uh, superheroes on Club Penguin, we never really explored them before the stage. I mean, sure, there were a few colors of capes and superhero masks, but as far as actual superpowers went, that hadn't happened yet. The stage was what brought that along. Now this would be the time when I would show you the high quality version of that song. However, many of my early Club Penguin songs from 2007 and 2008, I don't have the high quality versions of those. I've been looking for them and I'm going to keep looking for them. I can't find them. But what I am going to do is hopefully the next best thing. And the next best thing would be to perform it live. So let's try that. Um, I've already recorded myself playing a string part. So we have this. And I've also already recorded the timpani. So Now, I'm going to play those in the background and play along with the parts I've already recorded. Okay, let's try this, see if it works. Uh, that that worked out really really well uh, cool okay so I'm gonna end the video here on a high note because that actually worked um, 
I don't usually do this at the end of my videos, but I'd like to just acknowledge the subscribers because there have been 5,000 plus new subscribers since the last video I made about Club Penguin, and that's kind of crazy. So welcome to all of you. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and didn't know that I have a lot of videos out there, I invite you to check out some of the other ones I've made because if you like this one, you'll like those ones too. Um, as always, thank you for watching and waddle on.